Hi there guys and girls, this is Paul Kirtley from Frontier Bushcraft and in this video I'm going to share with you a great technique for creating sparks using your ferro rod and a stainless steel pocket knife and more importantly creating big sparks and creating them safely. Now there's a common misconception that I hear and see written in a fair few places to this day. And that misconception is that you have to have a carbon steel knife to create sparks with a modern ferro rod. And that's just not the case. It was the case that if you're using a piece of flint that you had to have a type of steel that is a, a carbon steel, but it's not the case with a fire flash, fire steel, Swedish fire steel, ferro rod, strike fire, whichever model you're using, you can use a stainless steel knife. And in more to the point uh, for this video, you can use a stainless steel pocket knife as long as you've got a good right angled edge here on the back of the blade. And I wanna show you a really safe way of doing that because I'll be honest, I've had an accident where I cut myself quite badly using a folding knife making sparks a good few years ago and I've still got the, the scars to prove it. And I wanna show you a really safe and effective way of doing that. I like to carry a knife like this as a backup knife or if I'm hiking where I'm not gonna be doing a lot of woodcraft, this might be my primary knife. It's quite a lightweight knife, these Falcon Even TK4s. They're, they're not the cheapest knife in the world, but they're very well made. They weigh very little, they're solid, they've got a locking blade, and I like them a lot. So come with me and I'll show you how I create a spark with this really safely. Now with a sheath knife, with a typical bushcraft knife, I can use the back of the blade, particularly the back of the blade where it comes to meet the bevel, to push nice big sparks. And I've made other videos to that effect. So if you want more detail on that, look for the other videos on my YouTube channel. But here I want to use a folding knife. And we could do a similar thing. As long as there is a decent back here, what you're looking for is a good solid right angle between the spine, the back of the knife here, and the side of the knife here. Nice and well defined, not rounded, and that is, as long as the steel's hard enough, that is going to scrape metal from your ferro rod. Now remember, with a flint and steel, and this is where the confusion comes in, with a flint and steel, a traditional flint and steel, it's metal coming off the steel. That's why it has to be a certain hardness or a certain softness really, and a, and a carbon steel that is tempered to a certain hardness. That's why I think there is this misconception that to create sparks you need carbon steel. But here we're scraping not metal, not, not off the, the steel, we're not scraping material from that, we're scraping material from the ferro rod. Okay, and so as long as you can scrape material from it, you can, I mean, for, you could use a piece of broken glass actually. So as long as you scrape material off this, you're going to get the sparks. And this is plenty good enough to do that job. The danger with a locking blade though, is if you use the back of the knife, my finger is here near the lock release mechanism when I'm holding it. When I'm using it normally, it isn't. But when I invert the knife so that the mechanism is here, this finger actually is right over it. And if I press that by accident, I could end up folding the blade onto my finger. And that's exactly what I've done in the past in a similar fashion. And I've got the scars to prove it there. That's where I closed the knife on my finger doing exactly that just here. Yeah, and I damaged the nerve in my finger. It's not so bad now, but I wanna make sure nobody else does that. So if you're gonna use a folding blade, if you're gonna use a folding blade, use it folded. Yeah, the spine is still here. Hold it like a striker. Hold the fire steel in the same way as you would if you're using the back of a, a bushcraft knife. And again, I've got videos that show how to do that. And then you can just push good sparks off the end in a similar fashion. 
Now the danger comes, of course, if you're using your knife, this knife, to scrape some birch bark like we do. You've scraped up your birch bark and then it's very easy just to flip it and drop a spark on. But have the discipline to close it first and then use the back of the knife. And as always, once you've finished using your tools, put them back where they belong. Don't leave them lying around to get lost in the leaf litter. Always good fire discipline. So there you have it, a simple, safe and efficient way of creating good sparks from your ferro rod using a stainless steel pocket knife. And those are tools that you're likely to always have on your person when you're out and about. So it's really good to practice with them and get efficient with them. So even if you don't have your belt knife or you're separated from the rest of your equipment, the things that you've got on your person, you can light a fire with those. So I hope that serves you well. I hope you find that useful. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and I will be back with another video before too long. Hope to see you there. Take care. Bye.